All right, guys, Crewman back. So let me go over how I did my testing. So this is my first pool test. Uh, you know, it might be a little rough compared to others. I plan on refining this as we go along, but it's definitely something that I want to do longer term in the future because I think everybody needs to know about this stuff. So how I did my testing this first round was I took a 3060 Ti and a 3070, both EVGAs. I put them each on Wooly Pooly and Hero Miners for 24 hours, and then I got the data, and then I swapped them out uh, and I put them on the reverse pools for 24 hours. Now again, you know, I don't have a lot of time on each pool. You know, I, I think in the future I'll do longer testing, but this is just 24 hours for you guys to see the results. And they are, they are they're definitely interesting. So let's get to it. Crew man here, we're back at the test benches. The first 24 hours is up. I'm going to turn these off and compare the hash. And while I'm here, it also seems like the perfect time to update the benches yet again because I want to put four benches here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another 3060 Ti out here and use 3060 Ti's as my test or 3070's I don't know we'll uh we'll see and I will get back to you on that but I am going to finish this initial test but like I said first I'm going to take a 20 minute break I'm going to clean up the test area straighten it up a little bit uh and I will be right back and I'm back. So here is a further update of the test bench. And let me go over it. So it's actually pretty clean, even though it may look like a mess. We'll go down the line. So this rig and this one are both just hive benches. They each can hold up to, I want to say, four GPUs pretty easily. And what I'll basically be doing on these when they're on is I'll be testing... Um, you know, I'll be running comparisons of different miners and their yields or just different models and their yields, whatever. I mean, I can run comparisons on these two benches and that's what I'll be doing. Um, this one in particular is probably where I'll be testing power to the wall. It'll be coming from this power supply, which goes over here and it's unplugged right here. Actually, I'm going to put a zip tie to denote it. And I got a lot of messages on my phone and it goes into this wall meter. You can see there's a Tesla on here. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be doing a video on this soon. Just gotta, waiting for something to happen before I can film the video, so, you know, that'll be coming eventually. Uh, back here, again, this is the test bench that we'll be using for our miners. Currently, there are only, uh, I'm sorry, for like testing miner updates and just seeing differences in models from my, from, uh, my shed here. It'll still have the 3080, 3060, Ti, 3070, and 3090 on it. And I'm probably gonna bring out another 3060 Ti in here so that I can run comparisons between the 3060 Ti. That or the 37, or another 3070, I'm honestly not sure, but uh, I can run them all on this one and I'll keep these benches off when I don't need them. And then over here, this is where I store my cold storage wallet or my software wallets and check some things on Windows and test basic GPUs. Um, I've got two monitors over here. And I've got two monitors over here and they're plugged into this a surge protector. And uh, it's that surge protector just has these two power supplies. And this one over here has these three. And I'm pretty confident in it. Uh, they're all going to a, it's their own dedicated 120, uh, 120, volt 20 amp power or uh, circuit so i'm not worried about that and i don't plan on like putting a lot of gpus in here i think at most i would probably have six maybe seven but they're not not at one given time i think five will be the most i will have in here almost all the time we'll see i just wanted to show you guys my updated test bench screw man back it's been over 24 hours had some stuff happen in life that prevented me from doing this uh, at the 24 hour mark. So I'm going to turn these off now. I'm gonna pull up the final data and, and then I'm gonna show you where we stand with my 24 hour test. Um, now, one thing I will say is I think I'm going to do a similar test like this again, but I think I'm gonna be doing it over a course of a seven day test. Uh, we, will, we will see, I'll probably do that next week. Uh, maybe start it on Sunday and then release it the following Sunday, or I don't know, we'll figure it out, maybe a five day test, but uh, I wanna start testing some other pools in Nexa and Caspa as well. All right, anyway, 
Uh, I will uh, be back with my data and findings in a minute. All right, so as you can see, this is the data. So Hero Miners, my 3070 gave me 22.7 CASPA, 3060 Ti gave me 16.45 CASPA. On Wooly Pooly, I got 16 CASPA on the 3060 Ti and 21.1 CASPA on the 3070. So you're looking at a 5% difference. Uh, Hero Miners had a 5% difference over Wooly Pooly on the 3070 and the 3060 Ti, it was only 2%. I mean, it's still something. Um, I need to do a little more testing data. So what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go move, I'm gonna record some numbers on my 30, or on my 6700 XT rig, and I'm gonna move it over. Now, you know, like I said, there's a few disclaimers. These were only mining CASPA. I didn't really dial in the overclocks on these. I just, you know, I figured if they were the same, then it would give me accurate numbers, and they were not dual mining. So I'm going to, um, further go along with this and do more testing on the 6700 XTs and see what I find as well. So I will get that video out maybe in the next week. Anyway, I just want to show you, and it looks like Hero Miners is better than Wooly Pooly, but I need to do some more results. But 5% is still 5%, uh, especially in this day and age uh, with profits being so low. And it looks like with the CASPA hash rate being so high, as you can see right here, you can see the CASPA hash rate has gone nuclear basically. Uh, it's actually above the the high at, on December of 22, of 22, so December of last year, which is kind of crazy to think about. So, I mean, every, every little bit counts. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Like I said, this was a little bit of a crude test, but it was my first one. I plan on, um, now that I have the infrastructure and I kind of understand a little bit more, I plan on doing these probably weekly, and uh, I'm probably going to take a pair of 3060 Ti's and do it have another video on that in the next week. Thank you for watching. I know your time is valuable, so thanks for spending it with me. And again, guys, please help me push to partner. I am so very close. And I'll be able to get you more of this data and uh, do some better numbers. Or, and I'll be able to get you more of this data and, and just give you more videos that I hope help you guys. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Group Man out.